In the ever-evolving domain of aerospace innovation, China stands as a formidable force in hypersonic technology, positioning itself as a dominant global player with no close rivals. This perception fuels anticipation worldwide, as the world eagerly awaits another groundbreaking invention from Chinese scientists. Today's video will unveil the remarkable achievement of Chinese scientists, the development of the most potent propulsion engine for hypersonic flight. China's hypersonic engine revolution unveiled. Chinese scientists have revealed a groundbreaking advancement that holds the potential to redefine the parameters of hypersonic flight. A peer-reviewed paper published in the Chinese Journal of Propulsion Technology introduces an innovative air-breathing engine, marking a significant leap forward for aerospace planes. This ingenious design, showcasing Chinese ingenuity, integrates rotational and straight-line detonation, making it a pioneering achievement on a global scale. As nations vie for supremacy in hypersonic technology, China emerges as a formidable contender, pushing the boundaries of innovation. The unveiling of this powerful detonation engine not only garners the attention of the scientific community, but also raises inquiries about its potential impact on global aerospace dynamics. The engine, meticulously detailed in the paper, authored by Zhang Yining and his team from the Beijing Power Machinery Institute, operates in two distinct modes at speeds below Mach 7. Initially functioning as a continuous rotating detonation engine, it ignites air fuel mixtures to create a shock wave that propels the aircraft with potent and continuous thrust. As the speed exceeds Mach 7, the engine seamlessly transitions to a nearly straight-line oblique detonation format, maintaining thrust through a circular platform at the engine's rear. Imagine an aircraft ascending from a runway to over 30 kilometers into the stratosphere, reaching speed 16 times that of sound. This breakthrough signifies more than just a technological leap. It offers a glimpse into a future where intercontinental flights could be reduced to mere hours revolutionizing air travel as we currently know it. Though the efficiency of this revolutionary engine is undisclosed in the paper, scientific estimates suggest that the explosion of combustible gas could potentially convert nearly 80% of chemical energy into kinetic energy, surpassing the efficiency of conventional turbofan engines that rely on slower combustion processes. So Beijing Power Machinery Institute, China's largest manufacturer of ramjet engines, has been at the forefront of this breakthrough, supplying propulsion systems for advanced weapons, including hypersonic missiles. The Institute's pivotal role sheds light on the covert advancements within China's military-industrial complex. The involvement of the mysterious PLA's 93160 unit in designing the new detonation engine adds an aura of secrecy, leaving us with more questions than answers. Hypersonic revolution shaping future skies. When examining this development, several questions arise. How will this groundbreaking technology affect the geopolitical landscape, particularly given the ongoing competition among major nations in hypersonic research? This competition holds the potential to revolutionize air travel. What economic implications may emerge from significantly reducing the time and fuel consumption of intercontinental flights? Can we anticipate collaborative efforts in hypersonic research? or are we entering an era of heightened competition reminiscent of the Cold War space race? The collaboration between the Beijing Institute of Technology's School of Aeronautics and Astronautics and the Beijing Power Machinery Institute adds another dimension to this narrative. Despite being under US sanctions, the former played a pivotal role in the project, highlighting the interconnected nature of global scientific endeavors. The development of sustainable detonation engines traces its origins back to Soviet scientists during the Cold War. However, their creation remained confined to laboratories due to challenges in controlling the shockwave. China's recent success signifies a leap from theory to practical application. The ongoing competition between China and the United States with entities like NASA and contractors such as GE conducting ground tests on prototype engines adds a contemporary twist to this age-old quest for technological supremacy. China's milestone achievement extends beyond the theoretical realm. In 2024, the country marked the world's first flight of a rotating detonation engine on a drone platform, demonstrating the practicality and feasibility of this revolutionary technology. Simultaneously, scientists at the JF-22 Hypersonic Wind Tunnel Facility in Beijing have been rigorously testing an advanced oblique detonation engine, 
underscoring the nation's commitment to remaining at the forefront of hypersonic innovation. Long-range hypersonic weapon project unveiled. On the flip side, the United States military is currently lagging behind China in the pursuit of advanced hypersonic missiles. A series of setbacks have impeded the Army's efforts to deploy a battery of hypersonic missile launchers by the end of the year. Despite the historical capability of intercontinental ballistic missiles to achieve hypersonic speeds since World War II, the contemporary emphasis on hypersonic weapons underscores not only their velocity but also their agility, enabling them to traverse unpredictable routes to their targets, thus complicating defense strategies. Among the Pentagon's various projects aimed at developing hypersonic missiles, a collaborative endeavor between the US Army and known as the Long Range Hypersonic Weapon, LRHW, and Conventional Prompt Strike, CPS initiatives, has encountered recent setbacks. A crucial component of this joint effort is the Common Hypersonic Glide Body, CHGB, designed by the Navy, which houses the warhead and executes the lethal strike. The Navy has integrated the glide body with a two-stage booster to create an all-up round with the Army leading manufacturing efforts for the CHGB. Unfortunately, in October, the LRHW project faced setbacks when three attempts to test the land-based launch system, resembling those used by Patriot missile batteries, had to be aborted due to anomalies detected during pre-flight checks. Following the most recent aborted launch, the Army and Navy are collaborating to dissect the weapon system, aiming to identify and rectify underlying issues. Initially, the Army had ambitious plans to deploy its first LRHW battery by September 2023. However, the consecutive test failures have significantly pushed back this timeline. The earliest projection for fielding an LRHW battery is now in the first quarter of 2024, if not later. This delay also impacts the Navy's plans, as the incorporation of the CHGB into its conventional prompt strike missile is dependent on the Army's progress. The Navy envisions deploying hypersonic weapons initially on Zumwalt-class destroyers, followed by integration into Virginia-class submarines. The setbacks encountered in the LRHW project underscore the complexities and hurdles involved in advancing cutting-edge hypersonic technology. While China makes significant strides in this field, the United States faces the urgent task of overcoming technical challenges to maintain its military competitiveness globally. The joint efforts of the Army and Navy demonstrate a shared commitment to tackling these obstacles as both branches collaborate to understand the complexities behind failed tests and pave the path for successful hypersonic capabilities deployment in the future. Nevertheless, it's evident that China has gained a substantial lead in the hypersonic sector, widening the gap with the rest of the world. As we navigate the crossroads of technological advancement, China's unveiling of the revolutionary detonation engine heralds a new era in hypersonic flight. The integration of rotational and straight-line detonation, along with the enigmatic role of research institutes and the global implications of this breakthrough, ignite curiosity about what lies ahead. This exploration prompts us to contemplate not only the technological marvels themselves, but also their broader impact on geopolitics, the economy, and the future of air travel. With much attention on how Chinese scientists have successfully developed the most powerful detonation engine for hypersonic flight, it's time to conclude this discussion. If you have any topics in mind, feel free to comment below, and we'll cover them in future discussions. Remember to subscribe to stay updated. Until next time, thanks for watching.